Hello everyone, Brandon here again from gdntbasics.com. I have another uh, question here for the video question line. Today's question comes from Ash. And Ash uh, stated and asked here, I regularly see drawings where spacing between a pair of holes is critical, but not so much the position of the pair as a hole. Often the dimension to the first hole is sheet tolerance, and then the spacing between them is basic with a true position, indicating the allowable deviation. I don't believe this is uh, this to be correct, as your first hole is still subject to the looser tolerance, and you are not positioning your second hole from the center of where the first hole falls, but by the dimensions stated. Is my understanding of this right? Let's take a look at the position here and uh, show you why this is not correct. Okay. So when we're dealing with position tolerance, we're dealing with basic dimensions. And on this drawing example that I have here, we've got four holes. Uh, the diameter of these is five millimeters, plus or minus uh, 0 0.25. So that's for our feature of size with the tolerance. And then the position tolerance is stated as being a cylindrical in shape because the, the diameter symbol is there. So it's a cylindrical tolerance zone. So we see that. And then the size of this is 0 0.1 uh, or 100 microns. And this is at MMC. And on the datum reference frame, we have datums A, B, and C listed. So remember that with position tolerancing, we cannot have plus or minus uh, for locating these holes. And we see this confused a, a lot. But with position tolerancing, we have to have basic dimensions. Remember that these locations, um, position is a locating tolerance. It also takes care of orientation uh, because of this first datum right here. So this first datum is taking care of the orientation, which in this case, the back surface of this is A. Uh, it's the first datum, it's the primary datum. So it's taking this cylinder that is 100 microns in diameter, four of them, and it's orienting them to datum A first, so perpendicularity is being taken care of. But those cylinders are being located from this datum reference frame. So down in this image here, uh, they have this DRF illustrated here. So right here we have datum plane B and then C, and then the surface here is A. So those cylinders are perpendicular first to A, located from B, so in this X direction that they're labeled here, and then located from C. So that takes care of this perfect location. So we can't use plus or minus tolerancing here because if we did, that would be a location tolerance, a coordinate location tolerance, and we would be combining that with a locating position tolerance. It'd be double tolerance. So we're not allowed to do that according to the standard uh, this has to be located with basic dimensions. The sheet tolerance that you make reference to, if, if uh, the, any sheet tolerance for location is going to conflict with position tolerance. It's going to be giving or producing a double tolerance, which is not allowed. So basic dimensions must be used for this. And again, it's going to uh, appear in the right-hand corner now. You see it's the blue cylinder there is that 100 micron diameter cylinder those green uh, planes there that you see intersect, that is the true position. And the true position is between the holes is 50. Um, but in X, the first one is 25 up, 50 to the next. And then coming from C over here, we have 45 coming over in Y, and then 90 from hole to hole. Now remember, those are basic dimensions. There is no tolerance associated there. These are coming from a datum reference frame. And that's what's depicted down here, this full DRF and isometric view. But going back to this example over here to the right, um, we do have B, we do have C here. And when we go to take the inspection, we are inspecting from here, from the DRF. It'd be all the way across, but we're, we're inspecting from here. We are not inspecting from the part. So uh, coming up here next, we couldn't throw in there plus or minus, uh, we'll say 20 microns, and then have a position tolerance of 100 microns. Uh, it doesn't work that way. These tolerance zones will be located from the DRF. They will be oriented perfect and positioned perfect 
no tolerance associated with them whatsoever. Now we know the part itself is gonna be imperfect. So when we go to inspect the actual part, we're looking for how far off from perfect is it. So we have these perfectly located and oriented tolerance zones, but how bad is the part in relation to that? So plus or minus tolerances are not allowed to be used with that. Uh, we have, we're gonna have a whole lot of other videos here on position, so we ask that you guys uh, keep watching, stay tuned, we'll let you know when we have more out, and uh, you guys have a good day. Thank you.